The Monster Club, 1981, directed by Roy Ward Baker, starring Vincent Price, John Carradine, and Donald Pleasance. A vampire takes a horror writer to a club full of supernatural creatures, where he recounts three tales of terror over the course of the evening. Full disclosure, huge Vincent Price fan. The man is a horror icon. He chews the scenery in every movie he's in. I was surprised I hadn't heard of this one before, initially mistaking it for 1987's Monster Squad and trying to figure out what role Price had played in it before realizing it was an entirely different film. Being an anthology film, they ran a couple of risks. The scenes in the club with Price and Carradine could have been more entertaining than the stories. There might have been an unevenness due to budgetary constraints. Some stories might have turned out better than others for various reasons, etc. Miraculously, the film presents the entire thing in a consistently entertaining fashion, flawlessly balancing a wonderfully eerie atmosphere with moments of tongue-in-cheek humor. The makeup effects honestly aren't that spectacular. With no story demanding too much for the actors, and the large numbers of the club patrons seeming to be wearing little more than unconvincing monster masks. The sets in this film are a completely different story, with the film presenting some wonderfully lit and shot locations. Ranging from the titular monster club, to an old mansion, to a foreboding cellar, and even to an eerie village inhabited by ghouls. Price's vampiric character gives off heavy horror host vibes, giving the entire film the feeling of a Saturday night double feature with Elvira or Sven Gulli. Aside from the short stories, the film is interspersed with insanely catchy musical performances by a couple of artists from the burgeoning punk and new wave scenes to break the runtime up nicely without feeling out of place. Verdict? Highly recommended. I'm not sure why this film has been lost to time, but it's definitely worth a closer look. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.